So you want to start with a massive base of support with your feet pointed out to 45 degrees at each angle. Then just double check. How does that feel for you? Is that comfortable? Some people have to go more narrow. For me, the wider the better. Not the wider the better, but just this is how wide I have to go in order to make sure I'm completely stable, especially at those top, top, top range sets. Then your V grip is all the way at the top before it hits the bracket. And just again, double check. Am I good when it comes to distance? Am I good when it comes to how far I'm stepping over the V grip? For me, I'm stepping directly over the V grip. So when I look down, all I see is the V grip below me directly. From this position, I'm already retracting my scapula and squeezing my core from here. So retract, squeeze, and then full flexion, contraction, and extension. That's it. You'll see what I'm talking about now. So set up with the feet. Squeezing core, retracting scapula. Five degrees up, I'm good to go. Pulling and controlling. Easy. And I like to use 15 kilogram plates or 10 kilogram plates because they give me an extra edge when it comes to range of motion. Easy. I believe that was 12. I'm gonna set up a closer viewpoint for you guys and girls. That way you're able to see how to set up the most effective when it comes to the free weight close grip T-bar row. I've doubled the weight as I said. Now we are lifting 80 kilograms. If we are also to factor in the bar. Wide base of support, I'm looking directly down. The V grip is all the way at the top bracket. Just a few test reps to see. Okay, for me, I just had to shuffle a bit more further. Now, once you, you get in your setup position, like I mentioned, it does not change. All you are doing, 5% to 10% up with your torso and the rest is in your arms. You are flexing and extending, pulling through your upper back, your lats, and nothing else. Squeezing your core to your heart's content. Ready? Squeeze, two, half, five up. <coughs> Easy. Twelve. So the tempo there was ranging from Two seconds, three seconds. I could have slowed down a bit more on the tempo. I will add one more thing. When you start stacking up weights like this, because the forward of the T-bar starts becoming more top heavy, you'll have to adjust your feet to be slightly more forward than usual. So where I will typically stand here in my first or second set, I'm now standing almost on top of the first plate instead of on top of the close grip. Let's go. Two more. Yeah, that was so much easier. So much easier. And the tempo was much better than the second set. See what I'm talking about? You can have a good or rubbish workout just solely based on how focused you are. On my second set, to be honest, my mind 
was in a million places at once compared to this set, I was solely focusing, focusing on the feeding. This bad boy here. Okay, comrades, the time has arrived. The top, top set, the ultimate, penultimate. This is PBE, so personal best equivalent if I'm able to get eight very solid repetitions. This is 105 kilograms. What I mean by solid repetitions, I want to see solid posture, full range of motion, stability and control, and at the very minimum, two seconds of tempo during the eccentric, so on the way down, in between every single repetition. If I'm able to achieve that for eight, that's a PBE. If I'm able to achieve that for nine repetitions, that's a personal best. After the personal best attempt, I'll be dropping the weights off to accomplish a triple or quad drop set. Let's go. Halfway. That was 10 reps, but to be honest, I don't know if I want to classify that as a personal best. That was a pretty how's it going set. I don't think my posture was solid there. I'll look at the footage again, but maybe you guys and girls can drop it in the comment section below. Whether or not you believe that was a personal best when it comes to top weight. But when it comes to overall volume calculated during a set, this is gonna be a PB. Because if we do reps times weight, now, again, Reps times weight in this drop set. Uh, and again, plus, so we're plusing, plusing reps times weight, plusing reps times weight to get our total, total volume. There goes the mic. I've been smacking it the whole time. That was a triple. Let's go for a quad. So this is, oh my gosh, 170. Go. And da. Ah. 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 So, PB when it comes to top set, I don't know. PB when it comes to total volume, accumulated in one set, definitely.